Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. Hello and welcome to the studio. My name is Clive from clivesarts.co.uk. Now I want to talk about something that's really important in the studio and that is brush care. Now I've showed you how to take care of your brushes. I've showed you how to wash your brushes. Um, I've showed you how to restore your brushes. I've showed you how to make some brushes. <laughs> what I am talked about is how to dispose of this sturdy stuff here, which is your paint water. Yes, that is very important that we need to discuss this because ecologically it's it's a plastic paint plastic takes thousands and thousands of years to degrade thousands of years at the end of the day it's plastic like your pop bottles and all the other things that come wrapped in plastic now how can we dispose of this correctly well it starts off doesn't it with a dirty brush and what we need to do is have a pot of warm water and a pot of clear water which is cool water and it doesn't matter what water it is, it could be a tap water, it could be deionized water, it could be bottled water, whatever water you've got basically. So what we need to do after we've done a little bit of painting, we wash our brush in the warm water like that and we let it, we get all our pigment out of the brush. Yes, we do. Now we need to rub that through some soap like this. And um, I've got my own soap, but you know, you can get a brush soap with... Um, uh, 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 Conditioner brush care, that's the word I was looking for. Yes, you, you can get a soap with conditioner in it. I just happen to I make my own soap. I have done for years. But get the soap, lather that brush up to that type of consistency. Get it all nice and soapy. <laughs> and then you put that back in the warm water. Yes. Now I'm lucky I've got a kettle in the studio. And um, I don't just make cups of tea. I use it to clean my brushes. After I've done that I then go into the cool water or the clear water like that. You've seen me doing this before and then I get some kitchen roll and I wipe my brush nice and clean. Now inevitably what's going to happen is that this water is going to get absolutely stinking. Now I've just done a painting using a lot of purples and, and um, dark blues and things that you can see the state of that water now if you let this water settle the sediment the plastic bits of this paint is going to stick to the bottom of the pail and if you if you've ever emptied a dirty old glass out that's been standing overnight you'll know what I mean do not do not under any circumstances tip this down the drain because it's going to clog up all your pipe work and not only that it's going to kill all those poor little fishies that are swimming in the sea because that's where all this waste water goes it goes to a treatment works it gets treated and purified a lot of it goes back um, into the sea so wherever this actually goes from after you've used it after you've cleaned your brushes in and that look at the state of that now there's soap in there that soap we use on the brush is going to react to that plastic okay and it's going to break it down to a point but the actual plastic itself is going to be suspended in the water and it's going to be floating around so what do we do with that if we can't tip it down a drain um, the other thing you can do is tip it on the ground I've been told um, Clive why don't you tip it on the ground you know outside on a flower bed or something now the unfortunate part about that is it will it's toxic and and it will kill your plants it will go into the soil it will remain in that soil for thousands and thousands of years is that what you really want now if you go into if you have a, a have a look at how you dispose of paints in your area um, we got councils in Wales and England and I've done a little bit of research and they say that you can dispose of paint in a specific area hmm. okay so that's not always convenient for us but you can re also recycle it as well now how can you recycle water okay so we can actually filter that through some coffee filters or from pantyhose or tights ladies tights or pantyhose we can use that as a as a mesh we can put over a bucket we can pour that so the water goes through it's got a detergent in it that's going to be safe and whatever's left in the pantyhose or in the coffee filter is going to be 
disposable so you can wrap it up and chuck it in the bin or in the recycling and that can go off to the recycling plant or wherever your recycling goes to. Now, the other good thing is I got some of this. I've got a little cat called Boo and she likes the cat litter. Okay, now this is not the cheapest one, but you can buy a really cheap bargain packet clumping litter, cat litter, and that's what you need. This is non-clumping because she likes long clumping. My cat is fussy. But um, I've actually stole a little bit of her um, stuff because I run out of the cheap stuff. And I've put that in a bucket. And then you can see that's the cat litter in my bucket. So what you do is you get your dirty paint water. There you go. Not your tea. <laughs> you get your dirty paint water and you tip that into your cat litter like that. Look at the sediment. Can you see already the sediment in the bo bottom of that? And again, we we'll do the same with my other container. And when every time I change water or I, I finish painting my painting session, this is how I dispose of my paint water. And that goes in there, like that. Make sure your cat doesn't come in the studio because she'll tend to go in there. <laughs> and you can shake that up and that's going to settle and that's going to clump. Or in this case, it's not going to clump because it's non-clumping. But that's going to be safe. And you can then put that in a recycling bag and you can dispose of that quite safely. And that'll go wherever it goes after it leaves us. And we know that it's not going to um, go in. Oh, I've dirty my shirt, Tina. <laughs> Tina's the one that makes my shirts. Thank you, Tina. I need another one. <laughs> I need another pack of t-shirt, Tina. Christmas is coming. <laughs> um... Yes, so that can be disposed of in the recycling in a very safe way, or you can take it to your recycling depot or you can, depot or wherever you take the oil recycling to. And um, that is the best way that I know of of getting rid of your paint water safely because it is toxic, so don't forget. But that's how the, my preferred method. So thank you very much for joining me on this quick tip. My name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk. Have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year, because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this. But as time is relative on YouTube, so I will see you soon. And <laughs> thumbs up, please. Always a thumbs up. Yes. And all the best. And I'll see you next time. No worries. Hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk